Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus Nokia 6 Speed Test. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus the Nokia 6 speed test. Now of course the Nokia 6 is not in the same price category as the S8 Plus but some could argue it feels just as premium and here we're going to test it up to the most you know powerful Android phone or one of the most powerful Android phones you can buy right now in the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So let's go ahead and boot these guys up at the same time in 3, 2, and and let's go. So the Nokia 6 does have a 5.5 inch 1080p display. That's a full HD panel. It has three gigs of RAM and a Snapdragon 430 CPU. The Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus that I have right here does rock the Snapdragon 835 CPU with four gigs of RAM. So a little bit more RAM. We do have the TouchWiz user interface here for the S8 Plus, and we do have stock Android here on the Nokia 6. Now the Nokia 6 does offer quite a good value here though for its price point. Now the S8 is first to the home screen. It says Android is starting, and we are now in the S8 while we're still waiting on the Nokia. So the Nokia definitely going to take much more time to boot up, but it does have that classic Nokia ringtone when it does start up. So it says Android is starting. So confirming the software is we do have Android 7.1.1 Nougat here on the Nokia 6. That's the latest Android version. And Nokia has been doing a pretty good job on the software update department. Now over here on the Galaxy S8 Plus, we're still on just plain old Android 7.0 Nougat, which isn't a problem. I mean, it's still one of the later versions of Android here. But let's go ahead and begin the speed test. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and run the same applications across the same network. Network. So I'm going to go ahead and close all of these out here on the Nokia 6 and let's make sure everything is closed out for the Galaxy S8 Plus. Now this is just going to be a speed test. If you guys want a should you buy type video between these two, go ahead and drop that down below. But getting to calendar on both devices, you can see the S8 is way ahead there. Coming home here, it looks like that was about the same. Let's go into the calculators on both devices. You can see the S8 looked to be slightly ahead. Coming home, looks about the same. Let's go on the clock. And you can see just how well this Nokia 6 is performing so far in system-based apps. Coming home, let's go into cameras on both devices. And it looks like the Nokia 6 is definitely way behind the S8 there, which is, you know, quite important. The camera is definitely an important thing. So let's go over ahead and go over here to yahoo.com on both devices. So I'm going to hit yahoo.com, yahoo.com here, and let's hit go. And you can see, it looks like the S8 is first there. Let's do CNET.com on both devices. So CNET.com here. And let's do CNET.com here for the Nokia 6. Let's hit go on both devices. And you can see there couldn't be reached there for the Nokia 6. So that one's going automatically to the S8. Let's do one more and now it loads up. So you've seen that little bit of a hang there on loading the website. So let's go to one more. Let's just go to YouTube.com here on the browser. So YouTube.com here for the S8. And on the Nokia 6, YouTube.com. Let's hit go. And you can see S8 again. So the S8 so far quicker in that as well. Going into Instagram, you can see about the same. I'd say it's slightly to the S8. But you can see the Snapdragon 430 is not too bad here in the Nokia 6 at all. I mean, it's a, definitely a lot choppier, as you can see on the scrolling there, for the Nokia 6 over the S8. But it's not horrible for 200 bucks. So you can see right here is the S8 first, and now we do have the Nokia 6. Going into Amazon on both, you can see this goes to the S8 again, and there is the Nokia 6. Going into eBay on both devices, you can see S8 again, and then the Nokia 6 coming into play newsstand for both of these devices. We do have the S8 for the win, and now the Nokia 6. So the Nokia 6, not quite as fast, but I mean, what we expect that really, really, it's a $200 device. We cannot expect that, you know, to be faster than the S8. And if the S8 was slower, that would be quite annoying. So let's go home here. This just goes to show, though, that you get quite a great value here in the Nokia 6 for its price point. I mean, I'll take a couple seconds less, you know, to have that premium build at 200 bucks. So the S8 is one of the fastest Android gamers, and you've seen it loaded up Subway Surfers like no problem. Now, the Nokia 6 is not the best gaming device out there. It's actually 
takes quite a while to load the games up. Once they start playing, they're okay, but definitely the S8 all day for a gaming Android device. Going to Temple Run, you can see Temple Run does load first here for the S8. Now we have the Nokia 6 coming. So let's come out of there and let's go into Dead Trigger. And let's see which one loads this first. Again, it's going to be the S8. The S8, you know, is super quick. It keeps up with the iPhone 7s in the world of gaming. So there is the Nokia 6 and CPU Z. So it just goes to show we do have a Snapdragon 2.36 gigahertz clock speed, 1.40 clock speed, octa core, and another octa core. So definitely a higher clock speed is probably one of the reasons why the S8 is so much quicker here too. Going in the settings, you can see S8 again. So all across the board, it looks like the S8, but will the Nokia choke in the multitasking? Let's check that out really quickly. Calendar, yes, it does. Calculator, yes, slightly it does. It's going to clock. Again, the Nokia reloads. And the S8 again over that. Chrome, S8 again. I'm not even going to wait on the Nokia. If it's not ready to go, we're coming out of there. Let's go on to Twitter. And... You could see the S8. So even the S8 not being the best multitasking phone in the world, it's still outdoing this Nokia quite easily, to be honest with you. So this is a reload on both here. And it looks like we're going to have reloads across the board here on the rest of these applications. So we're not going to go through the rest of these. It's going to reload all of these again. So both are not extremely good multitasking phones, but you've seen that the S8 still did better with its system-based apps, and the Nokia 6 pretty much has to reload everything. So definitely a better RAM management phone in the Galaxy S8 Plus. Going into the CPU benchmarks now, let's go ahead and run a benchmark on both of these devices, and I will be back when they are done. Guys, okay, so the final scores are in on the Geekbench, and you can see the S8 just really just demolishes the Nokia 6 here in the Geekbench, as we would expect. 6, 6 65 on the single core that's actually lower than the iphone 5 you know of way past and over here we do have a 28 29 on multi-core here for the nokia 6 1558 on single for the s8 and a monster 5935 on the multi-core so you know you could take these things with a grain of salt they don't really mean too much here but you've seen that the nokia 6 wasn't that much quicker in pretty much anything actually i don't think it was quicker in pretty much any area than the s8 plus and we wouldn't expect that but we just want to see how much of a value it does offer and i've been finding the nokia 6 to be a little bit choppier than a lot of the phones that i've used in this price point i mean they really kind of made a mistake by going with the Snapdragon 430 here on the Nokia 6 over the 600 series, in my opinion. Go ahead and test the cameras really quickly before I end this video. So you can see right there, about the same. Let's go ahead and shoot a picture. Both are relatively quick. And of course, the 16 megapixel camera on a Nokia 6 is definitely not better than the 12 megapixel on the Samsung. This is one of the best cameras money can buy right now on any smartphone. But do you guys want to see a more of a, you know, full on comparison video where I talk more about displays, their ability, you know, software, gaming, a little bit more in depth, not just a, you know, a speed test here. Let me know that down below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, click the like button for me. Let's chat about this. How much value do you think this Nokia 6? offers up against premier flagships like the galaxy s8 honestly if i had about 230 bucks this one would be on my list of what i'm looking at but i'm not sure i could choose it because of what i talked about with the processor but it would be on the list because it does have a nice premium body and it looks like it's easily five six hundred dollar smartphone anyway nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well i will catch you all in the next one and peace